up. Stop what you're doing. We check our answers now. Ready? Okay. 155 students on takeaway. Now, okay. 75 said they like Chinese food, all right? So see the way to 75. What number adds to 55 to give me 75? 20. Does everybody see that? Now, when you combine the 55 and the 20 together, oh, here we go. So we did 55 and 20 because that is uh, what we're looking for regards to uh, how many people like Chinese food. The next thing is how many people liked Indian food in total? 41 people. So what does that mean? 21 in here. Why is it 21 in there? Yeah, Indian only. Okay, done. Shh. How many students like Chinese food only? 55. Chinese food only. That would be your 55 people there. Is that okay? Any questions? No, it has to add to 41. So it's 20 plus 21 equals 41. It doesn't say Indian only. It says Indian foods. 20 people in the middle like Chinese and Indian, and yours like Indian. Okay. Now, shh. Paris, get up. Next one. Explain what the following statement means. Hashtag means how many. C dash means everybody outside of Chinese field. So what does that mean? How many people don't like Chinese or don't eat Chinese? Who don't eat Chinese? Is 80. Is that all right? Sorry, my writing is terrible today. Yes. Everything's not on C, but you have to main explain what it means in the context of this question. In the context of the survey, what does C mean? Everybody who doesn't eat Chinese is 80 people. Okay, is that all right? Now, next one. Uh, six students are. Uh, in a class, we're asked if they ran or cycled during the midterm. The Venn diagram shows the results. Name one student who ran during midterm break. Anybody who ran, guys? Yes. Paul? Anybody in that circle? Jerome will do me nicely. Okay, Jerome. Now, explain what the following statement means. What does hashtag C equals three mean? Hashtag C equals three. It means three people cycled. Have we got that? Three people cycled. Okay. What's the next one? Name one student that's in R intersection C. Who's in R intersection C? Tim R. Denise, it means you're running and cycling. You did both. Is that all right? Now, next question. One student's picked at random from the six students in the fan diagram. Write down the probability that this student ran. How many of them ran? Out of how many? Which is? Two over. Okay. Four over six is the same as two over. Three. All right. All good? Okay. Last one I have to do, okay, before we set you loose again. Boy, it's three on my list. Okay. Shh. Lads, those X numbers, see the X numbers? They just stand for a number. So example is if X was two, Imagine X was two. What would that mean for my diagram? It mean this is two and this one would be three times two, which is? That's all it means. It just stands for, X stands for a number that we don't know the value of yet. Okay, here we go. How many students study German but not French? German only. 
25. In the German zone, but not in the French zone. Okay. How many people study their French? That's 68 and the 3X. Okay. Complete the sentence. Uh, 3X students study what? They study both, so they study French and German. Okay. And what's after that then? Explain what this means. Hashtag means how many or how much. What does the slash mean? Uh, everything that's in F but not in G. Students who study French but not German. Students who study French but not German. Too bad. All right, guys. Hey, one student picked a random from 3x plus 25 students who study German. Write down the probability that this student. One student has picked a random from 3x plus 25 students. Okay. So 3x plus 25 would be the. The amount of students who study German, is that correct? How many students study German? Ah, 3x plus 25. That's how many students study German. Out of that, <clears throat> out of that batch, how many of them also study French? Ah, so that's my answer, is it? It's an awkward one. That, that's very awkward. Okay, finally, a bit of algebra to finish off. We've got to work out the value of x here, don't we? Add the x's together, what you get? What you got? Add the 68 and the 25. Now, what's that rule that we have again? X is always must be on the round, usually on the left. So I'm sitting 93. Copy up positive on its old team, negative on its new team. And then what when we take them away? What do we got? And then what do we do with that four? X equals 12 or 12 equals X, yeah. We all good? Okay. I am. Now, what we have is we have a T-shirt and a half zip, and you're choosing what you're ordering, okay? Now, uh, I wonder, did anybody order both, both items? Jill and who else? Only Jill. Okay. And that means uh, Ted and Gary are here as well, are they? Okay, and then uh, people who ordered half sips plus Alice, is it? Did everybody get the same as me? Am I forgetting anybody? Oh, I didn't put in Zenit on the outside order. Hands there already. We all good? Okay, now, next thing. In total, how many students are on the team? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who got seven students? Okay, next thing. Uh, write, in, write what it means. Okay, students who order both, both shirts and half sips, what do we think that is? It's one of the three uh, uh, options. It's either black, green, or red on the board. Which one do you think it is? It is green, which is a T intersection, Z, which means tops and half sips. Yeah. What about the next one? People who order half sips but no t shirts. T. Sip, half sips but not t shirts. Done. And what about the students who don't order half sips? C compound. Everybody that's outside. Everybody okay with that? Okay. Okay. Following Venn diagram. List the elements of A. What do we think? A, E, S, and. T, everything in the area of A. Uh, uh, any order will do you. Uh, what about the middle? A intersection B? A, E, S, or any order? Uh, you don't have to do alphabetical order. Next one. 
Everything in B that's not in A. Everything in B that's not in A. X and M is in B, but not inside of A. Okay, next one. Tom says that P intersection Q is a subset of P for any sets P and Q. State whether Tom is true, sometimes true, or always true. Now think about it. What is a subset? So if this is a P, a subset of P is anything that fits inside of it. You see that? See this in here? That's a subset of P. Anything that fits directly inside it. But what do we think? Is it always true? It's always true because P intersection Q is always contained within P. Always true as P intersection Q is always contained in P. It has to be always true because it wouldn't be P intersection Q if all of it wasn't in P. See what I'm saying? It, all of it fits inside of P, so it's definitely a subset. It's a tricky question, wasn't it? Okay. Now, next one, five. Uh, write down any, any subset. What would be a good subset? Uh, SC, what do you think? Any three letters in, inside of it? ACD? Uh, any other one? C? CBE, grant any combination you want. All right. I did. Oh, you can't use ACD. Exactly, because he uses ACD, so you have to use something else. No, 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 you can choose any tree you want. Any tree, just choose three people. Just choose three letters. Any three letters you want. Yes. All right. Shh. Explain why this is not a subset. What's the reason? Everybody go with that? Buddy is not in the set. We all good? Okay. You all got taken down? Grant. All right, next one. John asked to give an example of a set, and he said it's set, the set of good websites. Why is this not a set? Yes. Everybody gives an answer, don't they? Everybody understand what I'm writing there? If I said sets to, uh, a set of the days of the week, that's objective. You can only everybody can only give one answer. There is only one answer. And the answer is you list off the days of the week. Yes. Now we killed that? Okay. Now uh okay can you tell me what uh what a multiple means a multiple of two what are multiples of two yeah two four six eight and ten inclusive means include ten what about multiples of three and what numbers in both lists go on and that'll be three and Nine, and then the other one will be eight and any number we left out that isn't in the list five, one, and seven. That wasn't too bad, was it? We could all get good attempt marks there, I think. Now, what's next after that? Then is there another question? Using the Venn diagram, find the smallest number that is both a multiple of two and a multiple of three. I think we got the answer, did we? Six. No, we didn't. That was easy, wasn't it? 
right. This one, yeah? Okay. Shh. Lads. Two, four, six, eight, ten. How high do I have to go up? Up to twelve. How do I know that? Ah, four, eight, twelve. Lads, shh, we don't have to go on forever. We just need to find uh, a number that's in all three lists. What number do you think is on all three lists? Twelve. It just says write down a number. It could be any number. It could also be 24, couldn't it? Or 36. Any multiple of 12 actually will do the trick. Why is C a subset of A? Anything that divides into two... Any multiple of two is also a multiple of four. That's it. Any multiple of two is also a multiple of four. Any multiple of four is even and therefore a multiple of two. Does that make sense? Yes. 4, 8, 12, 16, they're all even, they're all a multiple of 2. Any other ones? Is that it? This one? All right. What's in the middle again? What does it want me to do? What? Up to 12, is it? Just put 12 in the middle. Yeah, because C is subset of A, there are two regions of the Venn. Shh. There are two regions of the Venn diagram that have no elements. Roy and X in each of these regions. Okay. My first thing is, uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Can anybody tell me why there's nothing in here? Yes. Any multiple of four is also a multiple of two. So any number that goes in here, like eight, will also be accounted for in here. See that? 12 will also be in here. Oh, sorry, 12 dead center anyway. So that's an X. Is there any other part that you think is, is empty? Which one? B, intersection. C, multiples of three and four. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually quite true. Any, any multiple of three is also, any multiple of four and three as example. Are you listening? 12, 24, and 36 are numbers that are divisible by three and divisible by four. However, they won't go in here because they're automatically divisible by two, so they actually end up in the middle zone. So that zone has to be empty because it will automatically get transferred into the middle because it will also be divisible. Uh, that's a tricky one. Uh, each of the five regions in the Venn diagram have some elements. In each of these cases, each of these five regions in the Venn diagram, right, one of the elements in that region. Hey, guys, let's write an example of a number. Would everybody be happy with two in there? Would everybody be happy with four or eight or something like that? Any multiple of four? Would everybody be happy with 12 in here? Would everybody be happy with six in here? A multiple of three and two. And would everybody be happy with either three, six, or nine? Oh, sorry, three or nine, I mean. Okay. Uh, 